Hi there, James from Wombat Servers here. Today we're going to be looking at how to log into the control panel and what some of the basic features and functionalities of it are. First things first, after you've paid your first invoice, you will have received an email similar to this. It will contain the IP of your server, the port, and how many slots it has. It will also contain your login information, which will be required to access the control panel. So be sure to note down your username and password. You can either click on the link in the email to cp.wombatservers.com.au or type it into your browser and this will take you to the login page for the control panel. Once on the page, simply enter your username and password that were provided in the email. There is no need to check remember me for now as we'll be changing our password very shortly. Once you've entered it, click login. Once you've logged in, we're going to move over and change our password immediately. This is because the password you were provided was randomly generated and is not easy to remember. Enter your current password and your new password twice to verify it. Then click apply to save your changes. A confirmation will be displayed saying your password has been changed. Simply click OK. We're now going to look at how to control our server. In this case, a Minecraft server. We're going to move down and click on game services on the left hand side. You'll now see information relevant to your server. Right here we can see the status of our server is stopped. By clicking the start button underneath, our server will start the boot up process. The status will then change to running and we'll be able to see the memory usage of the server. By checking the auto refresh box, we'll be able to see the memory of the server in real time. To restart or stop your server, simply click one of these two buttons. They will both gracefully shut down your server and save your world. You may have also noticed that you are given the IP of your server and the FTP IP of your server. Down below, you'll see a bunch of icons, each of them leading to a different part of the panel. One for configuration files, updates, installing mods, a file manager, a log viewer, web console, current activity and stats, and gametracker.com banners. We'll go into more details of all of these in separate videos. But for now, I'm James from Wombat Servers, and I'll see you next time.